All right, it's topwater trout time of year, and that's what Captain Justin Bowles and I are targeting today. Wish us luck. All right, we have found an area with some absolutely special water in it, really, really nice, and that's been so rare this winter and spring in South Louisiana. Seeing some bait in here. As you can tell, it's kind of a, a bit of a foggy morning. Oh, oh, dude, you missed it? All right, first blow up of the day already. Oh, there he is, first cast. Whew. Oh, come on. Come on, that's not what you come out here for. As you can tell, I'm throwing a matrix mullet. I changed out the hooks, put some big meat hooks on it. Also changed out the split rings, got braid. This guy, maybe 11 inches. Oh, you got to be kidding. That was a good trout, man. My rod slipped. That wasn't a, that wasn't a small one. I felt him. Justin, did you see him? <laughs> that fish jumped all the way out the water. Usually when they do that, they miss it, but he did not miss it. Good trout. Real good trout. Real good trout. And there he goes. Nah, he wasn't big enough to net. 18, 19 inches maybe. Gonna let him go anyway. Got to do the fun part. Actually, that sun may help because the water is a little chilly. And you can tell it's it's going to be super clear once this fog burns off. Oh, he hit nowhere near your bait. Oh, <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Spot lock. That's not the size of the one I just lost at all. I mean, still a very pretty fish. Yeah, he was nice. I mean, he came. At least the second time he was on your bait. The first time he was like. Yeah, a foot behind. Right. Like he came up from the depths. Oh, dude, you were never getting off. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Does he look nice? Similar to the one I just caught. Would you say 15? Yeah. Good solid fish. Oh, oh, we got it. We got Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed him. He had the bait. He was hooked up for a minute. You know what, trout? I absolutely never have luck stopping it. Yeah, I don't either. His, right. I never have luck stopping it. I think it does work for bass and maybe some other species, but I, I've just never had it work with trout. I mean, I frequently try it. But, you know, like, it's just one of those days. Like, you know, today they're committing. Like, they're hitting the baits. There he is. This fish is acting super weird. Super weird. I don't know what's up with this fish. He's still acting weird. No, he must have got down on the grass, that's what it is. So you see all that grass down there? That's why these fish are in here. Key ingredient for t finding topwater trout this time of year. At least the areas I fish in the marsh. All right. You may be right about the sun, because I mean the sun was high when we were catching them. Yeah, I don't think it hurts this time of year. I really don't. I've had some of my best topwater trips in March at noon.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Justin, did you see that fish? Oh my goodness. That's a big fish. That's a definite netter. Oh, wow. Oh, something slipped. He's not a five or anything, but he's, he's a real nice fish. All right. Look at this log. What a beautiful speckled trout. Look at him. All right, I'm just gonna let this guy go. Not even gonna tag him. Been out the water a minute. There he goes, good. All right, that was about a three and a half pound speckled trout, which, you know, you can't catch them up to about five pounds now in the marsh on topwater baits, but they're pretty rare. That's really the size of fish you wanna try and catch. And that fish came entirely out the water to hit the bait. Seems like normally when they do that, they miss it, but I had a couple do that today and actually get it. I haven't seen any mullet, have you? I saw some bait, but it didn't appear to be mullet. There was a lot more bait in here when we were in here last time. Could you tell what? No. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And the fish today is definitely way further out. Like, I may have only caught two as far out as you've been throwing. I gotta put on some sunglasses. That's a man, that's a good fish, dude. It's better than I, better than I thought. Uh uh, I don't wanna net him. I'm gonna I'm flip him. If I lose him, I lose him. I don't care. Look how pretty that water is. Just lost one of the hooks. Dude, that's a good fish. All right, don't make so much noise. You'll drift through here with a popping cork and never get a bite from a fish like that. Yep. Then just assume they're not here. It's a, I'm betting about a 19. I'm about to need one of the Matrix Muller. I, I, I got one, just, did you bring any? No, I brought different. Uh, I got one exactly like this, except without these hooks. It's got the stock hooks on it, which are not my favorite, but I, I've caught two six pounders on the stock hooks. Man, I love this. I absolutely love this. All right, now I feel better about the eyes. I could literally just turn around and go home. Like this, my day's already made. So awesome. This is like the old days. Now I gotta give Justin full credit. He found this area a few weeks ago. How many weeks ago would you say, two? About two weeks ago, this area, really the whole area here has pretty water grass beds and lots of bait just the key ingredients just what you need this time of year to catch these top water trout we kind of made a long run to get here but it's paying dividends oh yeah, I need a he got it oh shoot he got it and lost it i i got one if you want it being hard-headed. I know. I'm talk about it for a few minutes. I know. You're gonna watch me catch a bunch of fish. Ooh, there we go. Right. Justin doesn't want to change. He likes his little one knocker. I tend to like two knockers, but to each his own. Yeah, mine are committing. Yeah. Dude, if you stop, you'll be much happier. Yeah. Maybe I will too, because you're gonna end up throwing this freaking hook in my hand. There we go. All right. Good solid fish. Maybe 16 inches or so. Mm. 
I heard it. Those are the ones that normally get it. That little sucking sound, that little pop. Yeah. Oh. Dude, you heard that? That was nowhere near either one of us. That was something else dying. Well, you that was on you. I know, but they're like getting this like they don't want to eat it. Like that? Oh! <laughs> Lord, look at that. <laughs> dude, dude. You wonder if that was the same fish. Dude, that's a good fish. Five feet. Five feet from the boat. I mean, a good 18 at least. Yeah. Good 18 incher. Five foot from the boat. Was that on you? Yeah. Dude, they're switching to the one knocker. Good thing you didn't switch. <laughs> Look, you got another one. Can't keep a good angler down. Nope. He's coming towards you. Tell him to bring a friend. Oh. Oh. Dude, look how far down you can see that fish. Oh! Oh, a double. A, double. a top water double. Yours is a little bigger than mine, but still awesome. That's what you said. Uh, I may keep this one. He's not too big. Dude, don't these fish feel like they haven't been? Yes, they sure do. They're acting completely stupid. Yes, completely unmolested fish. You can just tell. They missed the bait. They hit it again. Miss it. Hit it again. Look, they're not stopping until they get it. There he is. Got him? Yep. Got him. Got him. What happened to you? You must have swam right at me. This is a good fish. This is definitely a nice one. He's got strong opinions. Dude, is this fish that? Oh. That's why you don't horse them. That's why you don't horse them. Man, shoot. Oh, game, Justin. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so awesome. See a netter? That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. You want me to net him? I'll tag him and release him. You go catch another one, buddy. So this inshore topwater bite lasts until about the first week of May, typically. Sometimes you can catch them into June, but that's unusual. Normally these fish, at least these bigger fish, have already moved outside by then. So we got a few more weeks of this happening for sure. Key ingredients are clear water, not gin clear, but super pretty water, grass, and bait, preferably mullet. But I gotta be honest, we haven't seen any mullet today. Not the first mullet, so it's not a requirement, but we have seen some bait. I don't know if it's glass minnows or what, maybe pogies, but it's up on the surface and smaller than mullet. And that's obviously what's got these fish in here. And the grass in here is real vibrant and green, beautiful. And it's easy fishing grass. And you just gotta cover water, that's it. Like you've gotta just make some long drifts, make a lot of casts. You're gonna have big dead areas that don't produce anything. But stick with it, and if you got all those ingredients, you're gonna find some fish. And I'm telling you, it's well worth it. So, oh, 
shoot, so much fun. You can catch definitely some of your biggest trout of the year doing this. Oh my God. Did he get it? He missed it? I don't, it may have been a different fish that came and hit it. Man, all of a sudden they're on that and not this. Good thing you didn't change. Yeah. I can't get a bite. You're whacking them. This does have chrome sides. Maybe it's picking up that little that, bit. That light, yeah. Oh, missed you. Dude, it's hilarious. I cannot get a bite. <laughs> He's still on it. Oh, you got him. Smaller fish. You could probably sit in this little cove and throw corks and catch a limit. Why don't you keep him? He looks 12. Dude, if you had switched baits, we would assume we just we just drifted out of them. They're not touching this. Not touching it. Goodness. Freaking hilarious. I wonder if those fish in the back will still be hitting this or if they're just off of this. The only thing that changes is the light. The lighting, of course. But it's dramatic difference. Oh, my Ooh, God, he missed it. He got it that time? Yep. All right, Justin and I are actually gonna leave these feeding speckled trout to go see what else we can find in this general area. It's not an area I know very much about at all. So it's exciting to see what treasures lie around each bend. We know these fish are here that we can catch them on top water baits. So believe me, I'll be back here again. This is just my favorite thing to do. I mean, how could it not be? Some beautiful speckled trout on top waters. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. If you think somebody else would also enjoy the video, please share it with them. That definitely always helps. We appreciate you watching. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.